Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. We keep people abreast of any opportunities. Today, I just put up a, a little article that I saw under Supervisor Faust's e-newsletter about a fund that helps with home repairs if you're an older or disabled resident. Mm -hmm. That's timely for people. Right. Community convenings that are coming up, I would say one is that rest in here, rest in for all ages is a kind mm -hmm. of a village model underway. Right. It's been going on for a while. They're meeting this Saturday at the Rest in Town Center, so that would be July 16th from 2 to 4. Come out and be involved. Mm -hmm. They're talking about what's going on in specific neighborhoods, how the neighborhoods are going to commu communicate, and other specific programs that they have underway, ideas. It's time to get out and to be with your neighbors and say, what can I do to help? With the issue of uh, working with folks growing older, uh, as you point out, there are individual programs that relate mm -hmm. to individual needs, but then there's this broader approach that's being taken in our rest of the community of looking at how the community itself might be the reshaped. Village you know, yes, the village absolutely. model, yes, absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about how that village model works? The village model is a really interesting model. It was born out of the Beacon Hill er area of Boston a number of years ago, where you had people aging in place, mm -hmm. is what they call it, and they realized as they all got older, they wanted to stay in their homes, but they needed help with the plumbing or they needed help getting the groceries or to get to the doctors. They couldn't drive anymore. So they kind of banded together and they vetted certain vendors who then they would contract with so that if you were in your home and you needed help, you gave a call. Mm -hmm. And we are so lucky here in Fairfax County. There's one operating already in Mount Vernon. McLean is talking about it. There's actually going to be a forum for the McLean area on, on October the 15th, and that's up on our website too. Mm -hmm. So that people can come out and get involved. Reston's been at it for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, so they're at the next stage where they're really looking at what they can do in individual communities. Mm -hmm. It's a great model. It mm -hmm. works really well. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's inclusive as we do all, we, all things here in Reston area. It's inclusive of all economic levels mm -hmm. and certainly multicultural. Sure. And it does, in fact, build that sense of community that we often give lip service to, but for right. which there aren't many examples. Yeah. Too many streets, it is unfortunately the case that we actually don't know who the neighbors are on exactly. the street. Exactly, exactly. But this uh, community model uh, goes beyond that, and neighbors begin to support neighbors. Right. You have yeah. to say, who lives on either side of me? Or, my dad lives here in Reston. He's 86, and he's been here since 1976. It's important to me as in my family, because many of us live across the country, that his neighbors know that he's there in the house. They do help him, and we're so grateful for that. Mm -hmm. They keep an eye on dad.